Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. As Central Texas school districts prepare for the upcoming year, leaders are struggling to find ways to address the retention crisis plaguing nearly every campus. I'm Britt Marino. I'm Robert Hadlock. Just moments ago, the Round Rock ISD voted on a potential solution. Our Jennifer Sanders is there live with our top story. Well, Robert, a very good evening to you. The board just approved pay increases for new teachers by about $2,000. Now, existing teachers and staff will see up to a 4% increase. Tonight, though, some tell me they hope that's enough to get and keep teachers in the classroom. Like I said, in the next month, student teacher Peyton Prostock will make a decision that will likely change the trajectory of her life. It's definitely intimidating. There's a huge demand for teachers uh, in Texas and the United States in general. So the pressure is definitely on. As she applies to districts across the country, she's seen them raise pay for new hires, a move that's appreciated. But she says support and resources in the classroom need to be the focus. As much as uh, money is an incentive, community is an incentive. Uh, our students being cared for, our students being treated with respect and dignity. Uh, and also having autonomy. As many large districts like Austin ISD make budget cuts to increase teacher pay, Round Rock ISD wants to increase new hire salaries, no matter their experience, by a little over $2,000. Current teachers and staff like Brittany Trinite could see a 2 to 4% increase. It would very much help pay rent. <laughs> So my rent personally went up $300 just this year, and that's the largest increase I have seen in ever, I think, in the Austin area. But she says it's not enough. She wants the district to address the workload. There are many people covering multiple positions at once and having to pick up the slack because we've had people out sick. Students and parents also brought those concerns to the board, saying overly full classrooms and fewer teachers are impacting their learning experience. And the plan will see about $15 million in pay increases district wide tonight. District leaders say that this will still mean that they will have a balanced budget. Now, on top of all of this, the superintendent said tonight there will be a $500 retention bonus for all staff next school year. Live in Round Rock, Jennifer Sanders, KXAN News. Jen, thank you. A survey of Texas American Federation of Teachers members in January showed that 66% had considered leaving their profession in the past year. They said the primary motivator for keeping them in public education was increasing their salaries. Part of the problem, despite pay raises, teachers and school staff are still making less money than they did 10 years ago when you adjust for inflation. We looked into data gathered by two groups, Every Texan and the Texas American Federation of Teachers. Their research found that teacher salaries have fallen over the past 11 years when you adjust inflation. The report is called The Lost Dance, and it also compared Texas salaries with the national average pay for teachers. Educators here make an average of $7,000 less than the national average.